Okay, let's talk now about potential and total energy. If you have any pair of particles, like a pair of atoms or a pair of electrons or a proton and an electron, any pair of particles, we say that they have a potential energy of interaction, which we usually represent by the letter V, capital V here, due to the force that they exert on each other. Okay? And we're dealing, and when we're dealing with uh, charged particles, that force is primarily electrostatic or Coulombic. Okay? Uh, there's some gravitational force, but when uh, that usually is negligible compared to the electromagnetic forces for um, subatomic particles. Okay? So, anyway, potential energy depends on the distance between the particles. Okay? And um, so we can say that potential energy is uh, the energy due to position. So, we, in, earlier we said we talked about kinetic energy as in energy due to movement to movement, to motion, right? So potential energy is an energy due to position. Now, if you have a sample of matter, basically you have a collection of particles, a collection of atoms, or a collection of protons and electrons, if you want to think of it that way, then the sum of all the kinetic and the potential energies of all the atoms, all the particles in your system, okay, in your, in your collection, is called the internal energy. So the internal energy is the total energy of all the particles in your collect in your sample of matter and those particles would be your atoms okay so let's say you have just three particles what would be the total energy in terms of v and k k here being the kinetic energy okay and v is a potential so if i only have three particles i'm going to call them particle number one particle number two and particle number three then the total energy or the internal energy would just be equal to E equals kinetic energy of particle number one plus what would be our next term? Mm, let's add up all the kinetics first. K2 and K3. Now, potential energy is, potential is, is associated with a pair of particles. Remember? Any pair of particles has a potential of energy of interaction between them. So there's a potential energy of interaction between particle 1 and particle 2. There's a potential energy of interaction between particle 1 and particle 3. And what would be my last term here? Okay, potential energy of interaction between particle number 2 and particle number 3. Okay? 